what is up guys this is the first video of a very small mini series of about three videos in which we will be scraping big.com now this is going to be very similar to our google.com scraper uh, if you have not seen that uh, video series you can go and check it out uh, but in this case uh, you know it's similar but it's not the same in the sense the the approach will change slightly and also the code that we'll write will change quite a bit so you'll get to learn uh, some new things in uh, this bing.com scraper series so this is the first video of the series here we'll uh, discuss about the approach that we'll follow and then in the second and third videos we'll actually write down the code to uh, execute uh, the bing.com scraper right so now let me take you through what we're going to do here uh, so uh, we're going to basically use go query package which helps us to work with uh, ids and tags on an html page right so we'll be able to access those elements and then we'll create a list of bing domains like bing.com bing.in where we can go and scrape or make requests to we'll uh, define the struct of the type of search result that we're expecting so struct is almost very similar to uh, an object in javascript if you don't know what golang uh, if you do, if you've not read or if you've not studied golang till now uh, but if you have an idea of how about golang you obviously know what structs are right so i don't have to really explain to you and if you don't know javascript or golang at all and you're new to programming then don't worry we'll when we start writing the code you'll uh, understand what the struct is right then we'll uh, define a, an array of our user agents now uh, why we do this is because bing.com right is is expecting a human agent to come and make a request to it right and how it determines if it's a human agent is because uh, you know it, uh, it it looks like a browser browser in the sense a google chrome makes a request to it or mozilla firefox makes re makes request to it or the yeah, safari makes a request to it right it's not expecting a golang program to come and make a request to bing.com right it won't understand that request so we have to create a list of user agents so we'll write a list of like let's say all the type of browser that are there like for example Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome and all those and when we and when our Google Ang program sends a request it'll uh, you know act as if it's it's a browser making a request to bing.com right so I hope that's uh, you understand the concept a little bit even if you don't when we'll start writing the code you will understand these two parts uh, much better so now let's uh, you know start thinking about how we're going to approach the uh, you know program so uh, before you write the program it's, it's better to you know, understand the flow of how the program will go so that you can understand and define the functions uh, accordingly when you start writing the code and i wanted to draw this function this uh, diagram because i wanted you to uh, you know not have a problem when i start writing the code you'll understand everything really well uh, much better if you've seen the diagram right so we'll have a func main which is the most important uh, function in a golang program and before this we'll obviously have our import file and our uh, import statement and our uh, package main so package main and import uh, those two things you obviously have to do if you're writing a golang program and then you have your bing scrape uh, function and this function will build our url in the sense it can be the same function or maybe i'll use bing scrape function to call another function which will build my url now url building is basically like let's say in the func main we'll define the query that we want to search for on bing.com so for example i want to search for web programmers in uh, in the us right so that's my search query now to be able to execute that search query on bing.com i need to create it into a url uh, so very similar to how google uh, for google you have to create a search query or search url very similar to that you have to create a search url in golang right so we'll build a uh, search url and then we'll select any random user agent from the user agents that we have defined out here right so we'll send ran randomized requests and then uh, our uh, we'll have another pro uh, function called scrape client requests so in the sense now we have the build uh, we have the url we have the random user agent and then we'll have our search query and then now we'll uh, send a request to the client uh, uh, you know we'll send a request to bing domains right and then we'll get some response and now we'll the response will start uh, scraping it first and then we'll pass that uh, result whatever you get and then we'll pass the result and we'll print it to the screen basically so that's the entire flow right so i'll just go through it again we'll have our func main we'll have a bing scrape function we'll have a build url function we'll have a select random user agent function we'll even have a uh, we'll have uh, we'll have a make request to uh, the bing domain a function somewhere here and then we'll have a scrape uh, client request in the sense whatever uh, you know response that we get we'll scrape it we'll parse it and then we'll print it to the screen right so we uh, may change the name of these functions we may introduce more functions but this is like uh, you know the flow that i'm probably going to follow just put it on on, on paper so that i can plan better so i hope uh, you have kind of understood this and then now we'll when we write the code uh, you know you won't be very confused uh, and if you want to be updated on when the next video of this series is coming out, which will be probably in a week's time, then you need to stay sub subscribed to this channel. And thanks a lot for watching.